Hey there designers, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create this simple Roblox game logo in just 4 easy steps inside Photoshop using our new product, the Logo GFX Style Pack. Now to get started, we want to set up our Photoshop workspace first, so we can properly use the Styles panel. Now if you haven't played around with the Photoshop workspace before, the default workspace should look something like this. You can drag each panel and snap it wherever you like. If you want to reset the workspace to the default one, you can do that by going to Window, Workspace, and choose Reset Essentials. Now the first thing we want to do is to remove the unnecessary panels. We want to leave the Properties, Adjustment, and the Layers panel because that's the three main panels that we need. We can keep some of the least important panels on the side. Our workspace should look something like this. Now let's open the Styles panel. To do that, we have to go to Window and find the Styles panel. Now let's drag this panel right beside the Layers and Adjustments panel. Now let's install the Custom Style Presets. If you already bought the GFX Logo Style Pack, you should find a .asl file. We can install this file by dragging it into Photoshop and into the Styles panel. If you're interested in getting it yourself, you can learn more about it on our website. The link will be in the description. Now let's get started by recreating this simple text logo in four easy steps. The first step is to grab the text tool and type in whatever text you like. You can use any font you like. I'm going to be using candy beans. The second step is to go to the styles panel and choose a style preset that fits the best. There are over 100 custom presets to choose from. You can experiment with the styles as you like. The next step is to add text warp. You can add text warp by right clicking on the text layer and selecting text warp. I'm going to choose ARP. You can adjust the parameters as you like. The next and final step is to customize the background. You can use gradient overlay to add background color. You can choose whatever color you like. Make sure to set the gradient style from linear to radio. You can also play around with the scale. Now let's add some background effects. You can find icons as well as overlays included in the Logo JFX style pack. Or you can use some of our free overlays in our Discord server. You can put this overlay underneath the text layer. You can play around with the opacity. Now the logo is already looking pretty good. The best part about layer styles is that it's non-destructive, which means you can freely edit the text without repeating the same process. We can go one step further by adding a custom drop shadow to separate the logo from the background. To do that, let's grab the curvature pencil and lay a path diagonally between each letters. You can add a curve by adding an anchor point in between two anchor points. And if you want to remove a certain curve part, hold Ctrl or Command and left click on the anchor point. You can change the shape color by going at the top or in the properties panel. Let's put this custom shape underneath the text layer. And just like that, we finished making the simple game logo. You can of course create your own variation. Don't be afraid to experiment with the styles. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. If you're interested in getting your own copy, of the logo JFX style pack, all the necessary links are in the description. If you haven't fully decided if you're going to get the style pack, then make sure to check out the two free layer style presets exclusively available in our Discord server. Click the video on the left to learn how to use it.